<laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? I don't know. Just shut up and see. Hello there, neighbors. I'm an international guy. In fact, I got some friends over in England. And they send me things sometimes after I send them money. And today is one of those times I want to share a package with you that made the trip across the pond to my humble house here in the States. And despite what this tape says, this box does not contain my ego. What it contains is the worst Stephen King book ever written. That's according to a list on the internet. So make what you will of it. I guess out of all of his books, one of them has to be the worst. And this list decided to give that honor to the Tommy Knockers. It's a novel that Stephen King admitted he was as high as balls when he wrote. In fact, he doesn't remember writing it, according to what I may have misremembered from some internet chat room at some point on the web. Anyway, what they did, PS Publishing in the UK, is they did an edition of this book that is so goddamn stunning it sold out. And a lot of people were wondering, Tommy Knockers? Why are you doing Tommy Knockers? Uh, it's it is it is regarded you know in the lower tier of King's works. Um, I will say there is a chapter in this book that I found horrifying. It stuck with me all these years, and I'm eager to reread it. And then, just as I was eager to reread it and thinking about that and reminiscing and trying to avoid the realities of my life, um, P.S. announced that they were going to do this book, and they got. Daniel Sarah to do the artwork for it and Daniel Sarah kicks all the ass I have some of his SST work in Voices of the Damned and I Tell You It's Love uh, he's awesome and so this book sold out in short order some people were surprised that it sold out because again the worst Stephen King book out of his whole uh, catalog I don't agree with it I just think it's funny but whatever whatever man sometimes the worst of one author is still better than the best of some other author, you know? So, you know, keep on hating haters. Anyway, that's what it looks like when you gut it. There's all kinds of packing stuff in here and I'm just gonna tear into it, snap into it like a Slim Jim. So here's the box and inside the box is this football. This well-protected baby so what we got to do is tear through the placenta and um, get at that baby get the baby get the baby get the baby get the baby hear the baby popping all right okay there's there's that oh my god okay oh oh my goodness Here's the packing slip, got the packing slip. But um, a while back, I messaged the fine folks at uh, PS Publishing UK. And I said, if you can see your way to giving me number 34 um, out of this set of what, a thousand? I'd be a pleased person. I'd be very pleased with that development. They said, we'll see what we can do, mate. And so, I think I might have gotten the number 34, which matches my Cemetery Dance Artist Edition number, and that's why I asked for it. Um, but look at this baby. Look at this baby. Look at this. This is the slipcase. It's the slipcase. Artwork by Daniel Serra. Um, there's a little bit of this in here. Look at that. This is a awesome. This is a stunner. I love it. Love it, Tommy Knockers. Um, and so there's this little bit of uh, bubble wrap, probably so the additions don't jostle around. Um, I'll remove that now because I'm the owner and I can do that. So as you can see, what they did was they separated the novel into three smaller sections, and each of them has their own. Um, 
binding. Um, anyway, so there's uh, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Each has their own dust jacket. They did this with Salem's Lot as well, and I think it worked out really well. I didn't get the Salem's Lot, the PS edition of Salem's Lot, but um, um, I wanted to. <laughs> I, I would have, but I didn't. So I don't, I don't really know what else to say beyond that. I'm not being interrogated. I don't have a lawyer here, so just chill out. Chill out. So, again, with, uh, with some UK editions, it's SST does this too, they do painted boards. So um, you could take the dust jacket off, and on, on, the, on the boards is, is the artwork. I'm, I'm digging that. I love it. This is Tommy Knocker's Volume 1. And open it up. There are the end papers. <laughs> this is gorgeous. And I got, oh, oh, that is so awesome. I got number 34. Number 34. And it's signed by the artist and Angela Slatter. She, I believe she wrote the introduction. So I got number 34, that is stellar, that's awesome. I'm very, very, very pleased that I got that. And um, some of the artwork. Wow, I'm, I'm really looking forward to revisiting this. So there's some of the black and white interior artwork for this piece. So the first volume is the only one that's signed. And here's the second volume. This is awesome. I'm really thrilled to be. So the end papers are identical across all three volumes, I'm assuming. And um, loaded with interior artwork. This is a great, I'm so happy I jumped on this. It's sold out. Um, I think it retailed at the time for like 110 bucks. Um, American, American. Um, but I think it's since it's obvious it's sold out and I think on the secondary market I've seen copies on eBay selling for two hundred fifty dollars American yeah when it comes to dollars I speak American yeah so anyway that's it that's my uh, oh they all have pigeon uh, pigeon pigeon ribbon markers so you'll never lose your place um, and I am really, really looking forward to revisiting um, this book. Will I read these or my trade edition that I have upstairs? I don't know. And that's really none of your business. These are my books. So thanks for, um, you know, putting up with my voice for another video. And uh, I'll look forward to unboxing future boxes of books. And one of those will be the Sun Top Edition of Misery. I'm out of my mind in anticipation. They're going to mail those gift editions out at the end of August. And um, I should get mine soon after. And oh my god. I got to plan that video out. Because it can't be this kind of bullshit. It has to be something good. So... Stay tuned, and uh, thanks for sticking around for uh, what? Oh my God, nine minutes? Wow. There is no discipline on this channel whatsoever. I mean, look at this backdrop. This bookshelf's almost empty, and I got a bunch of the books, copies of the book that I've actually, I'm, I'm actually in this book. I contributed a story, and it made it its way in, and here we are in the basement talking about other people's books. Anyway, see you around.